Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Kristen and I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you. So I've got a whole stack of boxes right here to get in and oops, I dropped one. The first one I got from somebody in the groups and the rest of them are all going to be from an order I placed on Shop Disney for a collection that just dropped recently. And I am so excited to open these boxes. I wasn't planning on recording a video today, but because these arrived, I've got my setup all ready to go and I'm going to go ahead and get into these. So this bag I found on the Facebook groups and this is one I missed out on when it was in stock. So I was really excited to see this one pop up for a really good price and I jumped on it as soon as I saw it. I wish that I had um, bought this one when it was still available in the stores, but honestly, for the price I got on this, it might have worked out better that I waited. So this first bag I received was from someone named Ashley. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and I'm gonna take it out of the bag here. And already I can see the pink poking out and this is gonna be a bright, beautiful bag. Oh my goodness. My fingers are not working because I'm so excited. So the bag I ordered was this beautiful princess scenes bag. This was an exclusive princess stories bag that was available on pink a la mode, but I missed out on it because I did not order it when it was available on the website. They have made other bags for the other princesses and I think so far Sleeping Beauty and Beauty and the Beast are the ones that have sold out and I really do like the Beauty and the Beast one but of the ones they've made so far Sleeping Beauty is my favorite. I love the pink design on this one. All of these designs up here are all embroidered so you can see there's some swirls and some flowers and look they even have the little fairies right here and so I think that is so cute and they put the spinning wheel in the middle there and it's got the lounge fly logo plate up here and then down at the bottom on the pocket you have Aurora and Prince Philip dancing in the clouds and she's in her pink dress there's this beautiful border going around and on the zipper pull we have the three good fairies again and the hardware on this one is done in a kind of that rustic bronze. So it's not your typical gold or silver that you see on most lounge fly bags. So just to show you the sides, um, it is dark pink at the bottom and it fades to light pink at the top. I forget what they call that, but it is so beautiful. I love the pink on this and just to show you the back so again all of these little designs are embroidered and then you have this saying on the back and it says and from this slumber you shall wake when true love's kiss the spell shall break so that is so pretty so i'm so glad that i was able to pick this one up from a seller in the group since it was sold out online and just to show you the inside because i'm sure the lining is beautiful this one does have a slip pocket in the back and it is this beautiful pink lining oh my gosh i love it so i actually bought the matching wallets i bought all the wallets from this series i'm not going to collect all the bags but this was the one bag so far from the series that I have really, really wanted. I think they're supposed to make the other princesses, but I'm I'm not sure what's going on because we should get a Jasmine and a Cinderella and some of the others. But I don't know what Pink All the Mode is doing with this series right now or if they're gonna make the rest of them or not. For now, this is my favorite and I'm so glad I got this for my Sleeping Beauty collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. I'll just put this down here. The next items I got are from Shop Disney. And so they have a artist named Joey Chow or Joey Cho maybe. I'm not really great with pronouncing names, but 
It's an artist who has done a whole bunch of merchandise for Disney as part of their 100 year anniversary. And so I fell in love with his design and his artwork. So I decided to order a few things. So if you didn't know this about me, I love puzzles. So when I saw this puzzle on Shop Disney, I knew that I was gonna have to get this because I love anything with either the Disneyland or the Disney World castle on it. And this one has so many cute characters on it. This is a 1000 piece puzzle and I am so excited to have got this one. So now the exciting part is going to be the bags that I ordered from the collection. So the first one, that I'm going to unbox for you is the lounge fly. And again, this is from the artist Joey Chow. And let me get this box open. I'm so excited to see this and show it to you. So here we go in the box. There's how they packaged it. And so here is the lounge fly. And the lounge fly is done with a blue background and I love it so much. I'm so excited to get this open. So here is the lounge fly already pulling it out of the bag. I can see that this is a nice size lounge fly. This is bigger than your standard size lounge fly. And just to bring it up close for you, this is gorgeous. So the castle here on the front is kind of the front of a pocket here. So that it kind of seems like it's an applique, but it's kind of sitting in front of the bag with the back of the bag behind it. And so we have Tinkerbell at the top of the castle. This is the Disney World castle, by the way. And then we have Dumbo, and then we have It's a Small World. And then here we have the teacups with the Cheshire Cat. And down here we have Stitch at, um, I am totally blanking out on this one, but um, that's that roller coaster in the dark and it's got Stitch. And then we have Mickey down here on the train with Pluto. And then over here we have the Tiki Bird. We have Orange Bird. We have one of the skeleton ghosts from Haunted Mansion. We have the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean and the ship that you can go on the water and then of course right in the middle we have the statue of walt and mickey mouse and i love the colors so much and i love the design i don't usually like cartoony chibi style characters but i thought that he did a really good job and they look adorable and so i decided to get this of course i also love any bag that has the fireworks on it i'm obsessed with the fireworks show at Disneyland. And every time that my family and I have visited the park, I always make a stop to watch the fireworks show. And so, oh, I remembered what this is. It's Space Mountain. I don't know how I forgot because it is one of my favorite rides at Disneyland. Oh, I think that you can see the little cars here from Autotopia. So I didn't notice that before. I'm sure there's some stuff on there that I missed. And so just to show you the size of the bag, the side is done with the fireworks all over it. There is a pocket inside down past this flap. I'm not sure how functional it would be to get in there. So I don't think that that is a very functional, yeah, already like I'm having trouble zipping it back up. So I probably would not use this pocket cause I don't wanna mess up this applique in the front here. I'm not too sure about why they did it that way, but it has this 3D effect on the front here. So I do like that. So again, back to the sides, we have these side pockets and here is your logo tag. It's a nice teal blue that matches the bottom of the bag here. And we do have pockets and then the zipper goes up and around here. This one doesn't have that small handle in the back. It has the handle on top. So I know some people don't like this handle because it's harder to hang it on the wall if you're hanging your bags on hooks. I don't mind it because I put all of my bags on shelves, but I don't necessarily like that this one doesn't have the hardware that allows it to like push down and lay flat, but that is okay. I am more than willing to make an exception to have a beautiful bag like this. So, 
Then we have the back and it's just more of the fireworks. Those carry all the way around to the back. And we have these light blue, kind of a teal tint to the straps, but more light blue. And then the strap down here is definitely a teal color. And so let me open it up so that I can give you a glimpse of the inside lining. And I'm really excited to take a look at it myself. It does not have a back pocket, but it does have the designer's name on the back here, Joey Cho. So this is a special designed bag. Oh, I love that my little Mickey in the train is right at the top there in my bag. And then on this side, you can see more of the print that they used. And so, yeah, so no pockets, but this is a very good size bag. So I don't actually mind when a bag doesn't have pockets in it because I always use one of those storage compartments that you put inside of here. Um, they sell them on Etsy and then I've also gotten them from Box Lunch and those ones have lots of pockets on them and stuff so that kind of takes away the need. I do love side pockets because this is really handy to put like your cell phone in and maybe your car keys so that you don't have to open your bag to find it. Um, and a nice front pocket is always handy, but of course this one's front pocket, in my opinion, is not usable. So just to show you the bottom of the bag, it is this teal blue color, and that is the Joey Cho Castle Lounge Fly. And so can you guess which bag I ordered next? Because it's not a lounge fly. It's a different one that released at the same time on Shop Disney. And I am so, so, so excited to get this. I just cannot wait to show you this bag that I ordered. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And so already opening it up, you can see. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the box. Oh my goodness. It barely even fits in my screen. It's so big. So this is the Joey Cho Castle Junie and Burke tote bag. And this one was available on Shop Disney, but it did sell out. So I hope everybody who wanted one got a chance to grab it. Of course, I love purple. So I, you know, had to order this bag. When I saw it, I felt like the layout of the characters were just a little bit different, enough to where it wasn't too repetitive based on the lounge fly. I will pull that back up here so that you can see those side by side. So obviously very similar. The lounge fly is much more cost friendly and size wise, maybe a little more practical. I don't know if I will actually use this one or if it will just be a collector's piece for me. But as soon as I saw the purple on this, I knew I was gonna have to order this. And you guys, this is my very first Disney Dooney and Burke bag. I have waited so long to order one that I love. And I do have my eyes on a couple of other ones that I want. I definitely wanna get um, like a satchel or crossbody bag because that is definitely more my style. This was the only way to get this design was on this tote bag and so just to show you up close, again, we have the fireworks at the top in the background there. We have the castle. And over here, you've got your D Disney, Dooney and Burke logo right here. And you have Orange Bird, the Tiki, Mark Twain, Tom Sawyer's Island, the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean, the ghost from Haunted Mansion, Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse, the teacups and the Cheshire Cat, Mickey Mouse over here with a little Pluto on the train, Stitch and Space Mountain, and here is your, um, your tag from Joey Cho. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, move that out of the way just so we can see little Dumbo. And Dumbo is, of course, one of my favorite characters. In the center, we have the amazing Cinderella Castle from Disney World. So just to show you the sides, it kind of continues. And then on the back side, you have the same print. So if you decide to use this, no matter which side you carry on it, 
you will be able to see the castle. And I kind of like this side better because the logo tag is not covering up the castle at all on this side. So it does have these straps. They have this metal hardware so the straps can kind of adjust down so that you can lay them flat down on the sides like this. So that is a really nice feature. So on the top here, you can kind of see is the pattern that is on the crossbody. So let's see. Oh, I love that you can see Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse in the castle on there. And then also a little bit of the Cheshire cat on mine. So that's really cute that they included that pattern on the top of the bag here. I would have loved to see a Dumbo because he's my favorite, but that is okay. And so when you open it up, the inside of the bag is, it's teal. That is another one of my favorite colors. I love purple, teal, and pink. Those are my three favorite colors. So this one has so many pockets. Oh my goodness. And it is so large in there, man. You could carry everything in here. So this one has a zipper pocket on this side, and then it's got um, a pocket here. And then on this side, it has two smaller pockets that are next to each other over here. Sorry, I'm gonna switch to this side so that hopefully the light catches it a little bit better. And so that is the inside of the Dooney and Burke. And then on the bottom here, we have more of that cute, pattern with all the little characters and again they didn't give me a Dumbo but that's okay since he's on the main bag so here are more of the characters here we have the little dog from Pirates of the Caribbean and the hippo would obviously be from the Jungle Cruise Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse the castle the Cheshire Cat and yeah oh they didn't give me a Tinkerbell either I would have loved to have Tinkerbell but that's okay and then you have the little strips with the feet on it and so that is the bottom of the bag. So after I filmed the video showing you the Dooney and Burke, which I have right here, I actually got an order in from a personal shopper because I decided to pick up the pins from the Joey Cho collection. So I'm actually filming this a little bit after I did that video, but I wanted to go ahead and add it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pins that I got and I picked these up from a personal shopper and she got these for me because they sold out of the pins on Shop Disney before I had a chance to purchase them. And so the first pin is the design that's on the lounge fly and the Dooney and Burke. It's so cute. It has the castle on it and it has all the little attractions that I've already gone into. And then it's a pin on pin because Mickey Mouse down here with Pluto in the train, they are on top of the pin. So it kind of has this glass feel to it. And that is the pin. And then look at how pretty this backer card is. I love that they put another little Tinkerbell up there. And then to show you the back there. And so that is the first pin from the Joey Chow collection. And then the second one is this one. And it also has the castle on it and Tinkerbell and some of the attractions, but this one only has the, it's a small world and the teacups. And I loved it because it has a little Mickey and Minnie Mouse and they are in the teacup together. And I thought that was so cute. So I am beyond happy with this collection. I'm thinking about reaching out to a personal shopper to get me one of the hoodies. They haven't put it on Shop Disney yet. I like the blue one and then it has the castle on the back and it zips up. So I'm really hoping that I can get someone to find that hoodie for me. And of course, I'm so excited that I was able to pick up this Dooney and Burke bag. And it is my first Dooney and Burke Disney bag. So let me know if you decided to get anything from this collection. Did you get the lounge fly? Did you get the pins? Did you get any of the Dooney and Burke stuff? There's also a crossbody and a wallet that have this, this design on it. So let me know if you got those. This is one of the best hauls that I've ever had. I'm so excited to have got so many pieces from this collection. 
and I am so excited to share my collections with you guys and I have a lot of videos in the works. I've got more hauls coming up and more collection videos that I have planned. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found these reviews helpful. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.